Okay. All right, we'll call the special meeting February 25th, 2020 to order. Madam Clerk, roll call please. The record will reflect that all members of council are present. All right, thank you. I called the special meeting because Friday night I received a notification that Costa Mesa had filed a lawsuit against the United States and the state of California dealing with the potential uh, uh, removal of coronavirus patients from Northern California and, the, and placing them at the Fairview Developmental, Devel, De, Development Center. And uh, over the weekend, City of Newport Beach filed an amicus brief with the court that was cited heavily by the plaintiffs at the hearing yesterday. At the conclusion of the hearing yesterday, the judge uh, kept her temporary restraining order in place and joining the transfer of uh, patients who have tested positive for the coronavirus or have been exposed to the coronavirus to Fairview through next Monday. Uh, I have called the special meeting so that the city council can do its primary duty, which is to maintain the health and welfare of our residents. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing. So with that, I'll open this to uh, public comment. Do I, we have public comment today? Thank you, David Tanner. Uh, Mr. Mayor, may I make a uh, non-agenda item brief comment at this time? Yes. Okay. Um, I'd like to request the City Council instruct staff and the Planning Commission to provide analysis recommendations and their positions on housing stimulus and affordability matters brought before the Planning Commission and the City Council. This would benefit both the public and the City Council by promoting a better understanding the effects of these laws uh, on the city and their adverse impacts on the quality of our lives. Uh, last week, the Planning Commission heard a local coastal plan implementation plan amendment dealing with accessory dwelling units. Uh, while this action was not subject to CEQA, no analysis of the environmental effects on the community was provided, no opinion whether this was a good or bad, whether this was good or bad for the city was provided, no discussion of its relationship to the general plan uh, or its update was provided, nor were any alternative paths forward provided. By instructing staff and the Planning Commission to provide an analysis, uh, recommendations, and their positions, it will help the public and the City Council find solutions. It will also send a signal to concerned, concerned citizens who seek to protect Newport from the de devastating effects of these laws. Last week, the signal was clear. Staff conceded there was nothing they could or wanted to do. For all we know, staff thinks these laws are good for the city. The Planning Commission felt this was not their responsibility and was urged to approve the local coastal plan amendment by staff and the attorney present for the Planning Commission. They were told there was no reason not to move the matter to the City Council for consideration. So I'd like to enter that for the record. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Uh, Mayor O'Neill and members of the Council. Uh, the agenda I saw for this meeting posted yesterday said you were inviting public comments on the consent calendar. So I actually came to comment on that, uh, but if this is not the appropriate time, I can easily wait. So well, maybe I can ask the city attorney. So, so, so Mr. Harpy. You can comment on agenda or non-agenda items, but it's a special meeting. It's a special meeting, so if you'd like to, you can comment on them because it's a non-agenda item. Yes. You, you do have on tonight's agenda on the consent calendar what apparently is a uh, rather controversial item, number four, about short-term lodging. And I see it's generated a great deal of interest. You have a lot of comment letters. Uh, I'm very happy to see that because the interval between the first reading of an ordinance and the second, that's exactly what it's intended for, for public review, criticism, comments, improvements. I do believe the uh, ordinance before you tonight, although the agenda tonight says it's a second reading, is actually a first reading because there was some language that was added to the ordinance that was not presented to the public, literally what the words were going to be in the ordinance at the last meeting. It was added by staff after the meeting. Uh, and the words are important, as I can explain to you this evening. And I believe the ordinance has additional problems. There's an interesting letter among the comments from an attorney in Corona Del Mar. Uh, she's pointing out that it's probably problematic for you to impose different rules on identically zoned properties on the north side and the south side of Pacific Coast Highway just because you can. 
you would probably need some special finding that there was a special nuisance on one side that didn't exist on the other. Um, she's pointing out it's a little difficult for the public to understand that the short-term lodging is not a, uh, a property right when our zoning code clearly indicates and tells the public that we do have a right for short-term lodging in these areas. Uh, she's also pointing out there may have been some council members participating in the discussion who may have a financial interest in the outcome of the ordinance, which is a problem. And as I pointed out, uh, the compliance, the, the whole thing seems to be opening the city to a, a lot of unwanted and lengthy litigation, including regarding the Coastal Act, because we have in our implementation plan an occupancy level that's different than the one that you're enacting here. So this ordinance seems to have a lot of problems. Uh, perhaps it needs some more amendment tonight at the first reading if you actually want to go ahead with it, but I'll pro probably have more to say about it then. Thank you. Thank you. Any other speakers? All right, seeing none, we'll bring it back. Mr. Harp. Uh, thank you. The City Council meet, meet in closed session with legal counsel to discuss the possible initiation of litigation and related to the City of Costa Mesa versus United States of America case. Thank you. Thank, thank you. We stand in recess.